in my feelings Know this ain't really like me Can't control my anxiety Okay guys, you're going to need some yarn, any kind, and I use a 6 millimeter hook. You can use any hook you want. You're going to need measuring tape, and we're just going to measure our waist or our hips. And then after you measure your waist and your hips, you're just going to make a waistband that fits that so you can start to make your skirt. So we're just going to make a magic circle and then we're going to make a chain of six. You can really do however many you want. If you want it skinny or if you want it really thick, it doesn't matter. Okay, and then you're just going to go back on the five chains that you made and you're going to single crochet all right and then you want to turn it over and chain one and then you want to go into only one i call it the front some people might call it the back but it's just one of the loops in the chain don't go through both just go through one i'm always struggling <laughs> So yeah, you just single crochet into that one loop. I think it's called like a front post or a back post. Either one, just go through one of them. And you do that back and forth um, until you get a chain that is long enough to fit your waist or your hips, whichever you want it. And yeah, that's the easiest way that I know how to do it. So then once you have your um, your waistband made, you're just going to want to stitch it together. And it's really easy. I'm just going to insert my hook back into the, um, the project. And then you just match up the chain spaces with each other on each side. Because on each side, you should have um, an equal amount. And you just, I'm going to chain, I mean, I'm going to, oh, sorry you guys, I'm just going to um, single crochet across it. You can slip stitch, but I have a little tail in that I want to stitch in. So I'm just going to single crochet across to get that part to stay in. Because then you don't have to weave in so much um, when you're finished. And so yeah, that's easy. Just slip stitch or single crochet that together. All right. And so now this is your waistband that should fit around your waist or your hips, whichever. And then we are going to um, go back around the waistband with, you can either do a single crochet, half double crochet, or double crochet. I believe I'm going to um, half double crochet. And so I'm going to prepare for that. And I think I chained three when you really only have to chain two. But I think I did that anyway. Because I just do whatever and you're going to see in this project that I did mess up because it's my first time making this kind of skirt. Like I don't really make crochet skirts because I don't really like to wear them. But someone asked how to make a skirt so I just showed what I know how to do. So right here I'm just going in any chain space that I can find. Um, and I'm just going to do um, like a half double crochet. 
all the way around. So yeah, that's pretty much what you do. <clears throat> Sorry, that's pretty much what you do. And here I'm just going to show you guys. Um, here's a skirt that I have. And here's where your waistband would be. And I'm going to show how I want to do this skirt. It's going to be like a peekaboo skirt. So down the middle is going to cover your um, JJ area. But there's going to be chains on the side to make it like peekaboo on your hip area. Um, so the paper here is to show where the solid part is going to be on your skirt to cover up your private area. And then you're just going to have it like that. And then down the sides is where I'm going to do chains. So it's going to be little spaces down here. So that's what I want to achieve. I've never done it before. So here we go and see what it turns out to be like. <laughs> Um, and I hope you guys can understand what I'm telling you because of course, like I said, I'm not a professional. I don't really know how to crochet, um, like a pattern way. So, um, yeah. So you start from where you first connected it. And then I'm going to <laughs> chain two. And then you want to prepare for your um, stitch that you're going to make. I think I'm doing half double crochet again. So now I'm showing where I mark the spaces to um, do the design that I want. So I started, I stopped three chain spaces before the space marker. And I'm going to chain three because I'm skipping three spaces. And then you just want to do whatever stitch you want into that space. So I am doing the same half double crochet into that space. And then you're going to keep crocheting um, all the way until you get to your other space marker or stitch marker. And you're going to repeat the same thing when you get there. You're going to chain three because you skip three spaces and then you're gonna stitch into that next space or the fourth space. And when I was doing this, you guys, I completely messed up because um, I wasn't chaining in the exact space on every row. So I think that messed it up. So, yeah, you just want to go ahead and do the same thing that you did on the last row. Or the last space. And you just keep going around. Um, until you reach whatever length of skirt that you want. So that's how it should look. And make sure you keep it in the same spaces on every row. So this is the end of the first row. And I'm just showing how I'm going to connect it. And, um start that next row so you want to go into that last chain space I think I should have just looped it around instead of trying to find the actual space because the back of my skirt the um slip stitch area didn't match up it wasn't a straight line either um so yeah just be aware of that when you're making your skirt and you just want to go ahead and keep going around and doing the same thing each time you chain three and you put it in that space and it's it's pretty easy if you follow the steps each time 
So this is how it'll look after about um, eight or nine rows of me um, doing it. I don't think I messed up at this part, but the back, you can see how it's not straight. And being that I'm not going to wear this skirt, I didn't bother going to fix it because I wasn't going to wear it anyway. I'm just going to take it back out and make something else. So yeah, just keep going. And this is the um, project after I finished about eight or nine more rows. And I I forgot to um, flip it back inside out after I tried it on to see what it looked like. So I ended up making my crochets like they look different. Um, you can tell. So just make sure you pay attention to that also. And you can see where my um, my little peekaboo spot started to change because I wasn't doing it um, on the same spaces each row so just make sure you pay attention or it will look like <laughs> it's crooked it'll look like I don't know whatever that looks like so now I'm just gonna do like a little um a different stitch so it's gonna be like a mesh stitch a mesh stitch so I chain three and I'm gonna skip um, a space or two in the beginning I think I skip one space if you don't count the chain space and then you just chain three and you um, or two and you skip another space and you just do that all the way around and I did that for like one or two rows and you can do that for however many rows you want however long you want your skirt so this is what I have so far that's a little end and so I'm going to go through each one of those chain spaces and I'm going to um, put two single crochets or two double um, <laughs> two half double crochets in it to just be like a little edging and to make it look a little bit better so you go in and you just put two of whatever stitches you want to fill in those chain spaces that you made when you um, chain two or chain three. So you'll see how it looks when I'm done. It looks a little bit better than it would look if you just left the edge that way. You can see it a little bit so far. It looks a little bit better. So I'm just going to do that all the way around. And Okay, and now I'm just showing you where I messed up at. And I have made a drawstring to put around the waist area um, to make it tight. And yeah, here's where I messed up at. And you can see the way the skirt is shaped. It's funny looking, but when I put it on, it's really cute. So I'm going to insert a little video of me wearing it so you can get an idea of how it might look on you. And I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. I may be young, but I'm ready to kill you all.